And we are live. Smashcast number 42, our second official video podcast now. Did you check out the first one? If you didn't, it's okay. I, I saw the footage yeah? on it. Yeah, okay, pretty cool. clean. Thank you, Sony. Sony ZVE10. ZVE Thank you. Appreciate you. Sony uh, camera. But um, special guest today, Connery in the house. I haven't had Connery in a long time. When's the, when was the last episode? That's that what I, I was just thinking right now. Because when you said 42, I was like, man. Yeah, we're growing. I don't know. It's was been, I here double digit yet? Even? I don't know. I don't know. Man. Well, welcome back. Yeah, that's been a bit. Um, so... You know, today let's go. Let's dive into Connery and seeing you know what's Connor been up to this year, um, and uh, go from there. So, like, what this year for you? Like, how's how's this? How has this year been for you, personally? Blink of an eye. Yeah. Yeah, it's been it's been quite the year. Um, very challenging year. Challenging. Yeah, very challenging. Okay. What what are some challenges? Um. Nothing like nothing bad. It's just pushing me. Like I feel a ton of pressure this year, mm. and it's like okay. I always think of it. It's like I life pressure. Yeah, just in all directions. I'm okay. usually thinking of like a million things at a time, but okay. now it's like up to a billion things at a time, <laughs> like in a moment. <laughs> um, okay. So it's e- like e- good even now. even doing this, do you feel like you're like you have like things to do? Like, um, or like what? not necessarily. Nothing's okay. really like you know chirping at me right now, but. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's like my idea of always like either I evolve or dissolve. And mm. it's like it. either I can let this crush me or I can keep pushing into it, yeah. feel that discomfort because it's like even if I feel a ton of stress, sometimes I'm like, man, I just want I like take it off, take it off of me. Yeah. But I'm like, no, lean into it, mm. lean into it. Like, what's it trying to teach me? Yep. What am I trying to look at? Like, yep. what am I trying to learn right here? You know, Love it. There's, there's areas for learning everything, everything. you know, everything. whether it's like you're feeling like business stresses or even getting injured or getting mm. sick or anything that's coming up internally it's like there's a chance to learn mm. and grow from this yes or we can completely just decide to you know avoid it and yep. then lose that opportunity to grow and eventually yes. it's probably gonna pop back up in some different area yeah. of life it probably will yeah probably will and you're right in some other form in some other form yeah so so the work has to be done either way and so i'm like okay uh, let me just lean into it. Let yeah. me just lean into it continuously, and okay. then eventually, you know, I'll breathe. Yeah. So, like, what? I mean, maybe some examples of like what, like what maybe like uh, came came about, and how you overcame, or obviously you overcame by leaning into it. But like maybe like I don't know, maybe share share some sort of your story and to maybe inspire somebody to like if there's something if they're going through something similar that they can they can see a light at the end. Yeah, and so the. I guess the big ones have been business. Business is the biggest um, focus this year, whether it's in person, yeah. online. I've been trying to shift a little bit more to the online space. Um, it's a very challenging thing. Yeah. Because um, even, cause f- so for me, for like with a lot of health and performance, it's a very healing process. It's a yeah. very internal, spiritual process for me. Yeah. Um, it's not just all looks. Yeah. It's like I'm going through a lot within myself to try to heal myself and mm. letting go of like, old versions of myself and mm. whatever pops up maybe i need to let go of it and move yeah. on and like learn grow whatever it is but i feel like business is such a healing spiritual process mm. like there's so many things that you that will pop up within yourself and you're know, like if it's not serving you anymore or if it's like you need to learn and grow from this and you yeah. need to like let's say as cliche as it may be but yeah. like let go of your ego and certain things to try to learn and grow and evolve in business yeah and that's I the feel thing. Like business has been the biggest and challenging, most challenging thing to really evolve in for me. And it's like, because I, I care about the craft. I really care about the things that I share and teach, like with my clients. And that's all. Sometimes I wish I could do. I just yeah. wish I could focus on the craft. But it's like business is such an important part it of it. Is. It's like if I want to have a bigger reach, or if I want to impact more people. Yeah. But also if I want to create the freedom I want for myself and my family, because that's what that's what so much of this is about. About like health. And fitness it's about freedom mm. freedom within yourself within your body within yes. your mind yes and and um i get i i 100 get that like i've i've personally been trying to tap into this online i feel for like a couple years now yeah you know like um you know I, I think i told you i bought into a course and i think that was like two years ago now that i bought into that course of like you know trying to build a, a online you know trying to build an online community to you know i started with stay-at-home moms um and it just didn't hit i i I gave tons of information on it and you know i connected with some females but i think that the interesting thing is is that i think with 
online, they have to connect with you in some sort of way. Yeah. So I don't think I was connecting with moms, you know? Yeah. So um, I don't know if you, if you noticed, but I switched my focus now into dads. Yeah. Because it's, like, it's like maybe I can, I can, I mean, I'm, I try to lead by example. So maybe I could lead by an, a, an example to dads. And I think that for the online space just will speak more. Yeah. And I, I'll be able to I'll be able to speak more into that rather than speaking more into like into being a mom or something like that. You know, like it's if I think about it now, it just makes no sense. But um, I was just doing it because it's like, OK, well, it's like I, I can take Taylor, you know, my wife. She's a stay at home mom. She has kids. I see her struggle. I see it. And here's our here are ways to overcome it rather than like, OK, like, look, this is what I'm doing myself personally. And almost like this is what these are the steps that I'm doing. Um, follow my role kind of thing yeah so but I get it man it's it's tough like you've been working on the smash online it's been it's so much work like so much man it's but it's a lot of feel if it's a lot of building infrastructure to then reap the rewards at the end yeah but um, I mean I think you're killing it with you have with your library and things like that man like you have I feel you like Ravano health Ravano health uh, so Ravano and then holistic training club Ravano holistic training club yeah, HTC I love it um, I that's that's a brand you know and I feel like you you've done such a good job already like I remember the first time when that came out ever 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 I'm like what is this yeah like I, I was almost like I almost, I almost felt intimidated I was like what is he starting a new gym <laughs> it almost felt it felt yeah. like that you know and then and then I come to find out it, it's just like it was just your brand yeah you know this is years. This is yeah. years ago. But when, when you when you first started, because you were having your the the pictures on it, it seemed like it was like I don't know. It was like, what is he doing? You know. Yeah. But but it was that presence was there already. You know. Um, so um, and you're doing so such a good. I mean, everything is just so unison. Like even like the filters to everything. You know. I think that. I mean, I think you you are sitting on a gold mine that you don't know yet. You know but it's just doubling down on it yeah. you know and that's one of the tough things though um, it's like even with online space it's like a lot of the like I recently hired a coach finally to mm. try to help me understand awesome. more of like awesome you know lead generation sales yes. marketing all this and that because like I said like if I could just do coaches for like the health and performance love it let's do it yeah. but when it comes to like putting money into investing into learning my business mm. wasn't always jumping into it but I'm yeah. like invest in yourself like Perfect. why should i trust anyone to invest into me if i'm not willing to invest into myself even you know Boom. and so but exactly. i'm a big proponent on that investing into people's time and knowledge because yeah. like even with like figuring out online or marketing sales it's like yeah i can go like years and try to figure out yeah. you know trial and error but i'd rather pay someone to help me learn that you know learning curve a little bit faster correct um but a lot of them what they teach is niching down i'm like Yep. Oh, I'm not, I've never been good with niching down because I, I just always wanted the challenge of like how could I help this person mm. whether it's like the most random topics or random uh, I guess things they need to work on things yeah. they need to heal or rehab whatever it is and um, so when the online space is like niche down I'm like niche down put me in a box what yes like no I refuse to put in a box yes. um, the, ni the riches are in the niches yeah then. and so I see that I've been learning that a little bit more but it's still challenging to try to really figure out because like I'm not, I think I'm not you, a dad I think you have I think you have a niche though yeah. like I think you you totally have a niche yeah like totally 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 you have a niche it's like it's it's that holistic health aspect of it like you know so it's like anybody who is in that in that field of holisticness will will speak your language yeah you know like when I was sitting down with Lisa right Lisa's one of your clients she's been mm -hmm. your client for a while now but like she just spoke your language in a sense, you know. Yeah. I'm like, you got to be a Connery. Like, yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna get you, but Connor, Connery's you're gonna get Connery. Connery's gonna get you, kind of thing, you know. Yeah. So it's like there is a person, there is, but it's like, what is that? You know, what does that mean? So it's like, I don't, you know, I don't know if you if you have your niche yet or not, but it's like you have, you are niche, you know, you are very niche, you know. I think everyone in this in this gym is niche, yeah, you know. But it's just like it's like it's stepping back, and it's like what then what what is it, you know? Like for me, like I thought it was like older females because I do really well with older females in person. Yeah. But when it's online, it's different. Yeah. So it's like I and I think and then maybe you can learn from that too. It's like okay, then you sh you should focus on men, you know. But like how how can you focus on men or or females? But it's just like but just know that it's like females on I think online men 
is easier to get online than it is females because no. I think females need that one-on-one -on -one interaction like in-house. I think females do great in-house personal training in-house but not online. No. Like like I don't know I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is, but that's just what I've gotten so far. Like from trial and error. Yeah. Um, yeah, cuz as soon as you said that you were like good with older women and then you're like maybe I should do that for online and then you're like but it doesn't really carry over necessarily because that in person doesn't and I was like I wonder why that is and I was like yeah because I feel like I do the same what same thing it's like I do really well with girls in person and like they listen very well and, and like their results correlate with that yes and I'm like what is it I'm like but I think it's just like sometimes girls need that in person attentiveness yes. of like because like when I have girl clients coming in that I've been with for a while and it's like I instantly have to read them like mm. if, whether they're coming straight from work and it's just like what type of day it is and you have to adjust the program to that and yep. it's like it's hard to do that online you know yep. sometimes guys it's like do you know yeah. it's like do yeah no for sure and it so it'll be easier for them it'll be easier for us to attract them online because it's like hey dude okay and it's i feel like a guy's like not saying like women are complicated and men are simple but like i think the the woman mind is a little bit more complicated yeah. I, I think it really is you know and so i think for females like like they really need that like almost like that separation and coming in and seeing somebody with authority to tell them what to do. Yeah, I think it's hard for men to do that personally to do, like to come in and and find authority because because we as men we we think that we don't need that essentially, right? Yeah, it's a sense of ego and things like that. So, but um, but it's like gi and no gi. I believe that there's two different martial arts now. Like I feel like gi and no gi have separated so much now, in a sense that it's like. I don't think that everyone who is good at nogi is good at gi, and I don't think everyone who's good at gi is good at nogi. You know, like I, I think it's like it, there is, there is technical things that need to ha happen, and some things that you need to watch out for, right? Like when I first started uh, doing nogi, I was getting heel hooked left and right by blue belts. Yeah, and I'm like, never again. You know, so it's like, what do I do? I smash. And that's the only thing I, I can is like is like is like is play like a straight pressure game. And if they get my foot, stand up and put and get out of that, you know, yeah. or attack theirs as well. Yeah. But I mean, but it's the same thing with I think with this is what I realize is that is that females do great in person and males do good with online. I mean, look at James. James feel like he just started. He started with the coach as well, online coach, with uh, for to grow his business, and he's targeted nine to five men specifically and he i think he has already like four clients because he's like he's he's very like sniper now with it and um and he's doing a good job but it's like but it's just it's doubling down on that and i know it's like tough to like okay like it's it to just focus on like a certain a group but i think it I, it pay, I think it pays off at the end yeah you know yeah especially when they see certain things that they connect with like the audience wise mm. of like potential clients of who is in your audience of who's watching your stuff um, it's like that feeling of they want to feel like oh he's talking to me like yes I, I, that's me I relate to that yes. you know versus just like throwing this huge net out there like whoever bites you know yeah well I think that's I think that's how you got Suburna uh, niching or the big net like like cause like I, I, I think he was like man I want Connery's look yeah so I need to hire Connery yeah yeah you know so like then you get the Saberna of, of, of the world you know and so it like and for me that was like that was interesting because like I I, I grew up with Saberna doing strongman you know like I've known Saberna for a very long time now in strongman like that's how I mean I mean him met back in 2013 2014 you know um, and then him doing now going more into like into a holistic health aesthetics and like and range of motion it's so different for me even to see yeah but it's like but it's so you know so cool now yeah. you know like and uh i mean you know he's a character but I, th I think that's that's what it is though like you 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 do so well with with branding yourself as a brand like you yourself as a brand that people are gonna be like man like i want to move like he does you know and that's that's it you just call to those call to those people yeah and we we only need a slight small percentage of it and then we're good you know especially if it's high ticket right if it's high ticket high ticket selling like and high ticket can be like what like three thousand and for three months or something like that i mean but you only need five to ten clients and you're making like 10k a month yeah online done you know 
and then you can offer high remo- whatever whatever you want to offer um so yeah what do you think about that like what uh like what what would be your ultimate avatar because i know i know your coach has talked to you about that before um, I haven't created my avat- like I'm still kind of trying to dial in on what the avatar is of like let's say the dream client avatar mm. but as far as like more higher ticket less volume of, of people yep. to really you know full package of really working on and dialing in on those things but eventually I'd like to maybe do like a higher volume low ticket just like mm. high entry like get a ton of them in would be more like not necessarily my, my gift to the world but it's just like <laughs> because I care about it and it's just like yeah. let's say it would, it would run itself would be more towards like a grappling division like just want to help jujitsu athletes mm. not caring about a ton of money from yeah. it it's just it's just a running program yeah. hop in you know cool type thing but that'd be more of just like on yeah. the side okay nice I mean you do need an offer you do need an offer um, you do need an offer that that's like so hard to resist yeah. you know like like an example like where I'm building out uh, Smash Online and we're doing a free course so it's a free four week course that 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 we're gonna that we're doing and we're giving out to people so it and it's like comprehensive as heck you know so it's like what can you offer and like when i start when i'll start asking um for uh for dads to work with me i think i'm gonna like i'm gonna offer maybe a month free honestly yeah and to see you know see who grabs but the thing is is that i'm 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 gonna have stipulation i'm looking for five committed you know, motivated dads that are ready to get into shape and are ready being sick and tired, being sick and tired. Um, and I'm, I'm willing to do one month for free for you, but just know that there's going to be an exchange, you know, yeah. like you're, you're going to have to commit for me for six months or three months, you know, after the fact. Um, but I think like, I think giving that, giving that offer or something, giving something is just going to, it's going to make you, um, people more enticed into what you can do. Right? Yeah. Even if it's an ebook, if it's like, oh man, like, you know, like giving away free ebook or something, you know, but just start thinking about things like that, um, to just to give, yeah. like you want to give something like yeah. something tangible or something that you can, whatever it is, like they making an off, like make an offer so good that it's, they'll feel stupid saying no, Alex or Have you read his stuff? No, I, I, I think my coach has, I'm sure all the coaches who are doing a lot of the sales for coaches yeah i've definitely read alex from Rosie. oh he's great he changed my life i haven't read his stuff in a long time but i mean it, it got me fired up yeah it's like a david goggins kind of thing like david i want goggins I, of sales I, I david goggins of sales bro for sure not 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 sales um, i guess sales i mean at the end of the day it is sales right yeah um who's your coach uh clayton clayton hobart clayton hobart okay maybe i don't know I'm that's not awesome, gonna be though. botching his last name, but yeah, that's awesome. Good job. Nick moves is, is is the is the page. Okay, so. good job. What 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 kind of made you what made you do like the plunge of like, all right, I think I need some help. Um, I think it was just like I always talk about it. It's like mental shifts or mm-hmm. mindset shifts or paradigm shifts. You're just changing realities type, and it's like even the step from working. Nothing wrong with nine to five, yep. but the transition from working a nine to five working for someone else was a bit of a challenge that was a big jump for me it was like i was working like four jobs at like when the uh pandemic hit Mm. and then everything shut down and i was like man i do not want to go back to those things like Mm. my body just hated me like i was juggling a lot and but um but i was trying to coach on the side try to get it to grow and then when the pandemic hit i'm like i do not want to go back to those things so i'm gonna try to double down on this coaching yep make it happen and it's like that's at first it was slow wasn't making the same but um even that was a big shift you know it's like i'm now my own boss you know choosing my own schedule yep. choosing my own prices yeah but it's also a lot more pressure because now it's like if i want to survive and thrive mm. financially it depends on me to you know, push and grow my business yep and then but that sh- next shift of like i'm still trading time for money yeah even if i shift to more online and higher ticket i'm still trading yes technically time for money but yes. i'm not going to have be s- having to put so much investment in person of yep. like time for money and that's a big shift it's trying to jump to that next level i'm like i don't know if i have the knowledge to get there yep. i need help yep. it's like so that was my biggest reason because I, I could see there was that step that i'm missing i'm like i need and i need that push yeah i tried pushing you guys yeah but it's all right 
Yeah, because now I, you're paying for it. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I, I've talked to <laughs> literally JP about it. Also, I'm like, I was like, it's like Carlos on the other side, of, <laughs> and it's like, it's like when people talk or we talk to people about health yeah. or like performance goals or composition goals, and they're like, it just seems so far for them, mm. and you're like, dude, I don't even know what you're talking about. You're like on a different hill right now. Yeah, and it's like. No, trust me. Just give me your hand. Yeah. And then I was like, Carlos has been talking to me about this for months. And I'm, it's just like, he's years. Like, he's like, here, take my hand. And I'm like, I don't see it. I don't see it. <laughs> Help me. I get it, man. I get it. It's like, it's just cer- certain times. That, I mean, I think it's just like, um, you just weren't ready. You just weren't ready. You just yeah. weren't ready to receive. Even though like, because like, I, that's the thing. It's like, every time I receive information and, and I know it's going to help somebody, like, I just want to be like, hey this thing it's cool check it out you know and so like and i know i probably felt like that it's like what what What?" you know yeah so i get 2010 bitcoin you guys gotta get in like what is this guy talking about dude (laughs) yeah yeah exactly so it's like i i just get excited about about good information you know and i just want to share that i want to just want to share yeah you know but um but i'm glad you're doing it now high tickets the high tickets the way it is the only way Especially for somebody to fully commit to you and to and to and to pay what you're worth. Yeah. You know, you're you're you and that's the thing, it's like you you're there, but you just needed to just level up your mind, essentially, you know, and and have somebody, you know, guide you there for you to finally get paid what you're worth. Yeah. You know? Plus more. Because I think from that you can you can you can scale, you know, and that's what and that's the thing too with online is the only way to scale, you know, like it's so even even with me like even me doing like I do like I do high ticket I'm doing high ticket now in person, but even that I'm still trading still trading time for money, yeah, you know, so it's like finding ways to to build that passive income, you know, so ebooks is a good a good way, you know, like. You know, I think you can. You, I think you can totally. You can totally build something out, dude. Like uh, on like a, a journal, like a holistic uh, HTC journal. You know, put it like um, create it on Canva. Here I go with these crazy ideas again. Create it on Canva. You know, and like get all these pages going, right? And literally, and there's ways. Um, I think it's. Um, I don't know exactly what it is, but there's a company where. You put all your the journal pages and you give it to a, you send it to this company and this company you connect it to Etsy and so when the people order from Etsy it goes through this company the company creates the journal and sends it so you don't have to do anything yeah you just create the product and you connect the two companies together and then you just pay pay the fees and whoever and then off you go so that's that's another passive income that you can have too and you do it already with your clients but it's something that you're probably going to have to do with your new online clients. But that's something you can offer for free, essentially, in the beginning, and then you can start, just put it, just have an Etsy store, an HTC Etsy store, you know, where, you know, people can get things that Connery has, you know? Yeah. Like the HTC Journal, whatever, 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 that you use personally, that you can be now affiliated with whatever, and start getting some money like that. Yeah. You know? Because I'm telling you, dude, like, you are a brand. Like, like whatever, it's like, I feel like sometimes it's like, it's with people like you, it's like, whatever you do, people want to do. What's Connor eating? Okay, I want to, I want what Connor is eating. Because it's just like, it's just, it's just what you've built up already, yeah. you know? It's like, you have a look, you have an aesthetic to yourself. It's like, no, no, what, what are you eating? I want that. That's what I want. And so if you just, here's my link, here's a link, boom. Get paid for it. What do you think about that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think it's the value thing again. Of like creating value to the people and like getting them something to bite. Even if it's like a quick entry and you they, know, it's like they hey, want you. If you want an ebook, comment, blah blah blah, and I'll send it to you. You know. It's like and it, it it's it's you know, it's like what's the word? I don't want to say it's gimmicky, but it's like it just is what it is, bro. Yeah. You know, it's just an on the, that online field. Comment get ready for you know whatever but it's like okay like it's just how things move you know Uh, unfortunately i mean even even if it's painful for us sometimes and i think going back to what you said it's like i think we love our craft so much that we don't want to put out bs yeah and i think that's what holds us back a lot of the times to not put out the stuff that we need to put out absolutely honestly 100 percent. that's one of my biggest my biggest struggles yeah 
because like there's so much BS out there, yeah, so much that people are like just biting into and like absorbing and and like just like loving it. But it's like BS, man. You know, so it's like I think we us we need to be louder or just have a voice in in the in the system, you know, to to preach, you know, preach the truth, you know, yeah, um, or whatever your truth is, you know. And I think that and that's the thing. Like you, like I think that's why Dog calls you the prophet because it's like, it's like whatever because you've just built that up, you know. But it's it's you realizing it and holding into it, and it's like okay, like I need to because all you all you have to do is like this is what I use, boom, that you're at that point right now. Like I feel like it's like whatever you put out that you want to sell, you'll be able to sell it because you've you've built up so much credibility. And, and and whatever you're doing that it's like it's now your time to build products and just here you go want to work with me here you want a training program here you want you know my shirt that i wore yesterday here you know <laughs> like it's to that point yeah. bro you know yeah. you want my you want the cologne that i use that that is uh free free of blah, 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 blah. here it is you know yeah <laughs> <laughs> It just is what it is, man. Yeah. It is what it is, but it's like it's honing on, honing into that and and seeing seeing what you get from it. And I think that's where you'll start getting your passiveness, honestly. I know it's a lot of information. Yeah, but no, it's that's just, funny it's, though. It's just what I feel, <laughs> and I it, I see it, and I, people people can agree to it as well. Um, but it's hard to see from the outside, inside, inside out, outside in. You know what I'm saying? All right, man. What uh, what are some wins with your clients that you kind of want to share? Um, nothing. They they need to do better. <laughs> they all suck. <laughs> no, no. I'm always so proud of them. It's, I think it's the biggest thing. I'm most proud of them is just like consistency mm. of continually show up. You know, it's like I understand, especially with life. Like life can be challenging. You know, schedules can be crazy. Yeah. You know, or even financial things. You know, but it's like continue to show up for them. You yeah. know, and it's like I try to guide them the best as I can. You know, give them the tools and the knowledge that they can to heal themselves and mm. to get to where they want and um but in the end it comes back to the work like yep. i gotta do the work they gotta do the work it's like it's theirs you know um so that's the thing i'm usually most proud is just consistency mm. consistency of action you know consistently good over occasionally great you know it's like yeah so important and i i i think it's as much as we as much as we say it they're still gonna fall through the cracks yeah. but I think that's what people just need to realize is that it's just showing up yeah. every day every day just do just do just work towards something whatever that is yeah every day it has to be like so lifestyle lifestyle yeah it has to be a lifestyle yeah and right? I think the big thing is like sometimes I would put too much pressure on myself to be mm. that anchor for them ah. to and it's like I understand thing, like I said things happen and it's like sometimes my clients will even joke around like Connery I've, I'm straying from the path like I'm drifting far it's like so it's just like even if they mess up it's just like get back on the path mm-hmm. just get back on the path and it's like um, and so I try to be that anchor for them if things are going south or it's like they're having a tough time and it's like I'm helping them pull them back in but in the end it's like I feel like people need something their own nor- north star yeah you know it's like I'm not their daddy I'm not their savior. Like mm. they need to have that North star within themselves. You know, I'm here by yeah. any means. Like I'm here for you. Yes. But it's like, you need to develop that within yourself. Like, where are you moving towards? Like, what is this for? Yeah. It's like, you need a legacy and a dream and a North star mm. that will hold you through anything. Yes. It's like, it's building it's, that wide. It's that cliche. You know, it's like discipline over motivation. Motivation yes. is fleeting. You know, C- come sit on us. Just sit on it. Hang out. Sit on, on it. Sit on it. Okay. You okay. <laughs> Uh, are we are we uh, in frame? We're in frame. Awesome. Thanks, guys. Um, I've been off camera the entire time. <laughs> <laughs> we're like this. <laughs> um, what were we talking about? Um, I think just the North Star. North Star. Okay. Yeah. So something. so the so that's why it's important to to at the first gate. What's helped me in this high ticket selling is is their why. Yeah. Knowing their why, even re- before we even start training. You know, because it's like, I think, um, oh, I think, um, people get, uh, people don't, don't go deeper before they start something new. Yeah. So like, oh, it's like, oh, I got a wedding to do in six months. Okay. That's cool. That's a good goal. But what's after that? 
you know or um, they have some event most of the time that's like that's like surface level it's like a good goal to have I love it but like what's deeper you know yeah. like and th- these are these are some of the deep whys that I, that I end up getting I don't feel like I'm a good example for my kids Ouch. Um, I don't want to die how my mother died uh, I don't want to have uh, I don't want to see my children I don't want my children to see me go through what I had just to go through with my mom you know so it's like very very deep emotional yeah. connections so then because and then once we get into that point of like of like I need to be better peak for my children I need to be better for whatever you know even if it's for yourself like you don't I don't want to die young because I'm, I'm on the route that I'm in like I'm about to die young Every time they, some excuse comes up, it's like, um, ugh, I'm tired. Well, you said that you're not a good example for your kids. What kind of example are you showing right now? Get your ass up. You know? So it's like, it's deeper rooted wise will get people moving better. And that's their North Star is their why, I yeah. believe. So, um, yeah, even when you, you're starting like with a new client and you're trying to figure out their reasoning and it's like sometimes even the basis of like one to ten scaling of like where their motivation is at to get started and really go after their goals Mm. and if they're not like at a seven or above or something like that then it's like they really haven't dug deep enough to try to figure out like what is the reasoning of why they're in here and what's their north star you know because it it's like it could be temporary things it's like yeah that's a short short short-term goal but it's like where's the long term correct 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 and so, I mean, and, and the people that have been staying here, I mean, that's the thing, like, we've gotten, we've gotten really good results uh, ever since we started this. The one, the whys, and the two, the high ticket selling is that people are just way more committed, and you'll find that, too. Yeah. Once you start selling these high tickets, like, they are committed beyond measure, man, beyond. Like, there's, like, there's nothing that can break them, essentially, and they feel bad, and that's the thing. You've removed yourself from, from, from the situation now, because then you put it in their court. If you don't show up, that's on you. If you're not getting your results, it's because of you. And it is. It's like we can't, like, as a me, when I started first tr- personal training, like, I, I I was holding all the burden. Oh, they're not getting the results they want because it's a me. You know, it, it's it. but we fall into that. But at the end of the day, we're the passengers in their car. We tell them if they, if we tell them to go straight, go left, go right, stop, hold on, go, you know. We can tell them that. But they're still the ones driving and yeah. pushing the gas, or or still in park because they're scared to go into drive. I like that. They're they're in their own car. Yeah. And if you want, if they, if they want, if they still want to stay here in Vegas, cool. But if you want to go to Utah, then we got it. We got to get moving. You know. I like that. That's yeah. good. You have you have to you have to put the responsibility on them because it, it makes them more self responsible. Because at the end of the, because the, and this will happen too. Like uh, I have a I have a, I have a client right now. She's like, man, I, I want to bump to four days a week, um, but I can't do Saturday. I know you're off Monday, so I I uh, what do you think about me hiring another coach? Amazing, amazing, right? It's like yeah, it's like what we're doing are it's fantastic. But she wants more. Get we got to get her more. Yeah, we got to get her more. You know, she wants more work. Get her more work. You know, so it's like it's, it, but it's her wanting to be better, wanting to be more, because she knows she can, she can now do more. And she started with me just once a week, three months, bump to two, bump to three. After that, and now we're six months deep, and she's thinking about doing a four, four nice. days a week. You momentum. know, momentum, momentum, yeah. momentum. She's just like, I want more. I'm like, okay, no problem. And she's and this lady's sixty four years old. Yeah, that's awesome. She's moving, man. Yeah, she's moving. Sometimes that's all they need is just those. First steps, those low hanging fruit, mm. gain some momentum, yes. you know, and set realistic goals. Yes. Because it's like when people are so gung ho, and it's like back to what I said earlier, it's like consistently good over occasionally great. Mm. And it's like people who are so gung ho and set these unrealistic goals and then they don't hit it and then they stop they stop training versus like get the low hanging fruit, gain some momentum, start yes. building up on these good habits, and then next thing you know, you've you've walked to Utah. You know, it's yeah, like, literally. Yeah. Literally, literally, literally. It's, it's, and what, I mean, I, the, I, similar to what you say, consistency over intensity. I, yeah. I, I hone on that so hard, man. So hard. Cause like, I, I was even, I was like, every, like an example, my uncle, um, he was like, man, like, I'm doing cardio. I'm like, that's awesome, bro. Like, well, like, what are you, like, what are you doing? Oh, I, get, I do like 40 minutes on the um, elliptical, um, you know, twice a week. I'm like, okay, that's awesome. I was like, how about this? I was like, let's just 
trust me, let's just change it up a little bit. Let's do 10 minutes every single day. It's gonna equal out to 70 minutes. Uh, no, that doesn't make sense. But I think I said, I think I said 20. But well, regardless, I basically made them switch over to it rather than having intense 40 minute sessions to just quick 20 minute, 15 minute sessions that equaled out more throughout the end of the week that we which out which equaled more in the at the end of the month yeah um the 10 minute wasn't a really good example but switching it to like a half half that for every day though you know so 20 for every day would obviously be more than 80 right um but just simple like that and he tried it and he's like and he's gone he got leaner just just from changing that yeah. because we're getting we're just getting more activity in so it's like it's daily what's what are you doing today what are you doing today to get you a little sweat you have to work it out. You know, you have to, you have to, you have to move the body. Our, our bodies are meant to move. You know this, right? Like we, we are creatures of motion. And anytime we like, I, I just talked to somebody about this today. Um, and every, any, anytime you, you stay, you, we go into stagnant and we're just like, we're just resting. That's when we go into almost like we're living or we're dying. And every, and like, we need rest, obviously, obviously we need rest. But like when we're like, when we just stay in that comfort of rest, yeah. and like don't do anything and just stay sitting and just like get lazy start eating bad oh my gosh vicious circle vicious cycle yeah into into overweight and yeah everything literally everything rather than like rather than being like just thinking considering like going for this is i think this is the best the best tip as well anytime you eat try to go for a walk 10 minute walk that's helped tons of people especially myself eat go for a walk because you're switching you're switching the instead of like storing you're using it you know yeah so yeah I was about to say something I totally totally lost it sorry you should have said it yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think it was just the idea of like momentum of moving in either direction and it's like it can move momentum can move upwards like a spiral mm. upwards or it can spiral kind of down yeah. and so it's like laziness kind of leads to more laziness and then it's not rest when you need rest okay but momentum i feel like if you're in momentum you'll be blessed with more momentum and you'll yes. be blessed with more energy and more power to kind of propel yourself forward yes. more yes you need rest <laughs> consistency over intensity you need rest so what so i got out of this is train like intense every day <laughs> I'm not saying to intense like it, there, you need balance you need balance you need balance so like I mean what I personally recommend to my clients is three maybe four times of weight training that's it yeah and that's max like that's you don't need any more than that and the rest of the day go for a walk play with your kids whatever even even like for me sometimes doing laundry I'm like I'm like keeping because I have to bring things up and down the stairs and uh, you know like like I think even doing the basic chores is like is activity, you know. But if you're not even doing your own chores and you're hiring somebody else to do your chores, I mean, come on, you know? Yeah. Like, it's just it's, yeah. Sorry for for acting frustrated, but it's just it, it can be so simple for you guys sometimes, you know. It's just like it's it, it's just taking that small initiative, and I think people overlook the walking all the time. People overlook it. Yeah. All the time they overlook it, and they're like us. Oh, that's too easy essentially they're like uh, that's that's nothing that's not going to change my life but man yeah. 20 minutes a day keep your secret son you know 20 minutes a day will change your life yeah. of walking because it's it's not going to just be 20 minutes anymore it's you're going to increase it you're going to increase it to you know to 20 to 40 to an hour sometimes i mean some some of my clients are just walking for like maybe an hour maybe like an hour hour 10 but they're catching up on some books they're catching up some podcasts and they're getting in it they're getting in like a few miles every single time outside so this example is inside <laughs> <laughs> this example is inside but i mean come on it's it's over 100 right now so it's kind of hard right yeah that's what's tough with vegas yeah when it gets hot man it's uh, this this year has been real hot dude yeah i i, I love i love the sun i yes. love the heat but yeah, this is this, this summer has been tough, <laughs> and it's like if I'm not out there consistently, sometimes it's like I'm like this is cranked up a bit. Yeah. But I, sometimes I feel like it's just a mental switch. I'm like, no, I just need to absorb it. David Goggins. Make it hotter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like if, if the example of, of like being in that sauna, you know, it's it's over 160 now. So nice. like, what's 
what's it what's at 115 you know no yeah. it's different though those yeah. rays hit different man yeah it's yeah. like you're really cooking out there man yeah when i'm intentionally outside if i'm like reading going yeah. for a nice sunny walk yeah not too bad but when i have to like drive around or have to go do chores and mm. like errands outside i'm like oh this is brutal yeah but when i'm out there intentionally perfectly fine why is that it's a mindset mindset baby <laughs> it's true though I mean, and this, and that's the thing. It's like I feel like I needed to adjust so hard this year for the heat. Like the first, I feel like when it first hit like a hundred for the first two weeks, I was so like tired and boggy for some reason. I was like, man, my my little my little baby right now, what's going on? You know? Yeah. But I just probably needed to up my salts. I needed to like you know up, up my electrolytes because I just wasn't I wasn't prepare, prepping myself for this heat. Yeah. Essentially. So if you're having a uh, heat prostration, you know it's a uh, prostration. Whatever. Sodium electrolytes is good for you. Anything for that? No. I think that's good. Just listen to your body. Stay away from the seed oil so you don't get cancer. Yeah, I notice in uh, the <laughs> based off the seasons, kind of my body will start asking for different things. I could see it's like sometimes, or I'll stop eating certain things, or I'll start wanting more certain things. Mm. Sometimes, usually more in the summer, I'm eating more juices fruits mm. maybe less on the heavy heavy vegetables and then maybe like in the winter i'll probably do like different types of vegetables different types of carbs and so even like the winter time i probably won't be doing bananas mm. just i don't process it as well summertime i do better with it though you're so in tune bro oh you gotta be you're so in tune yeah that's amazing you see what i mean yeah because that's the biggest thing it's just like i just listen to my body for yeah. years but you know it's like that takes time and yes. i get it not everyone wants that how do you how do you how do you brand that like how do you like let's say like me like let's just say an example like i want to be in tune like you yeah how do you start somebody like that it's god given <laughs> it no, can, it no, can be. I, I think i think everyone's body is talking to them constantly yeah i think it's just there's so much stimulus everything going on in the world For and sure. it's like they just don't know how to listen to their soul to their body yeah and it's like every symptom and reaction is a sign your body's mm. trying to tell you something you know it's like all these things that if you just listen how your body's reacting it's like okay it's not really responding well to this like what does it want what how do i react with this what i feel like i'm being gravitated towards mm. it's like intuition but people don't have really listen to that either and then no. it's like listening to their gut but sometimes people's stomachs are so messed up that it's like so would you say would you say like an elimination diet first and like the start start back up or like how would you like because I feel like let's just send just me for example like yeah. I, I feel like I have a certain way of eating now I mean I don't eat I don't I mean obviously I don't eat horrible right I mean I, I, I just choose not to but it's like I might even have some foods right now that are like making me like right now I'm breaking out I'm like why am I breaking out yeah you know and it's like and so how would you like how would you guide somebody if they're so in their ways of eating to like to find out what truly like is like is good for them digestively or you know whatever yeah like how, um like what what like what are your specific steps one i'd recommend above all first figure out your north star so when those challenges do come up of having to give up certain things of like mm. that your body's addicted to of eating a certain way for years on end um of having to give those things up because it's not in alignment with your north star it's not in line mm. with your dreams and the things that you want to do in this world yep and it's like a little moment of eating this and that is it's worth xyz for me giving up this this dream um because it's like for me that's always what has kept me in line with my eating it's like i don't really crave to eat these crazy things anymore it's just like i know how this can make me feel this is going to limit me and my performance of like mm. whether it's with my clients whether it's in person or whether it's performance in the gym or on the mats anything yeah and it's like it's not worth it for me to eat this thing yeah um or is it gonna upset my digestion my mood all these things so it's all connected you know and so figure out north star first and then if you really want to you can go on a rotation diet this is one of the things paul chuck in his school recommends rotation what is that what does that um, mean so you're not eating any really the same foods um for a certain amount of time i think it's like i think it's like a four four day rotation diet and so that way you can really notice like how your body's reacting to certain foods you're eating um and then you're notating and journaling and seeing mm. the reactions whether it's your mental clarity your mood your digestion if you're having skin reactions or how your bowel movements are bowel movements is going to be a huge one you have to look you got to look at your poop yeah you, know, you got to see how what that is telling you you know it's like um 
And then if you're noticing certain reactions with certain foods, you're like, maybe it's not the best for me, even if it is a healthy food, you mm. know, relatively healthy, you know, it's like, and you keep adjusting, but that's not always a set in stone. It's not like this is a permanent thing forever. It's like you can, you can transition, like, and you can kind of shift throughout the seasons. Maybe this time of year, your body's wanting a little bit more of this. Mm. Um, so I'll kind of first give you good ideas of things that maybe you might be intolerant to. Um, and then try to get more understanding of like let's say if you're gravitating more towards as a person individual wise not necessarily just based off the seasons the seasons can change that and just your external demands um if you're like more of a protein diet or like a higher carb diet or if you maybe a middle of, of both but i think a lot of that times will kind of stem from where your blood comes from where you're derived from um like what they had access to during the time of years do you believe in like blood type eating um I'm not huge on the blood type diet. Mm. Um, I think there is maybe some some truth to it. I yeah. just haven't really dug deep, uh, deep enough it. on it. I'm more of like a um, kind of like they call it like a primal diet, not necessarily the actual, primal. Yeah, but that's more of based off of Paul Chuck's beliefs of like equatorial um, primal diet, and then a yeah, I'm kind of botching it, but I think it's like primal diet. You're gravitating more towards proteins and fats, mm. fruits lower carb um probably because of that's based off of where your blood comes from of like what they had access to year round um because like let's say someone from more of a european blood wouldn't really be having the same diet type as someone from like let's say south africa or south america interesting because of what they have throughout the year when yeah. it gets when the ground starts freezing they probably have more access to animals wild interesting so those are just things to think about yeah um, but a big thing would be journaling notating seeing how your body's reacting to certain things shifting adjusting okay that's and just refining that's it yeah i mean i guess it's it's again it's it's looking into the mirror right looking into the mirror and seeing what you're putting in your body um and seeing what you're reacting to yeah as simple as that right yeah i think this might be ice cream i've been i've been doing ice cream here and there but you know it's it's probably ice cream. Yeah. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, that's hey, probably ice cream. That's what I've been adding. <laughs> I've been having a little bit of ice cream at night. Uh, it's good. Not a whole tub, though. It's, uh, it's Tillamook Campfire campfire S'mores. Yeah, you got ice cream all over your mouth. You're like, oh, so good. I don't good. know where this is coming from, yeah. man. <laughs> it's so good. It's so good. Whatever. But, again, uh, there's always so, there's a price for everything. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and that's just the biggest thing is I, I tell my clients is like conscious decisions. It's like... Yep sometimes if it's like if we're consciously choosing that's fine you know it's like if you understand that you're gonna have to pay the consequences of like let's say having an upset stomach or digestion yeah. or mental clarity issues because you're gonna want to eat this food that's fine accept that you know accept it if you yeah. like that then it's fine but it's like let's say continuing continue to choose unconsciously of like let's say not saying alcohol is bad but like let's say if they want to have a night out and they want to go have drinks and this and that yep. and sometimes that leads to more unconscious decisions of like mm. if you choose to drink fine choose it a little more consciously with the things you're consuming with it like the type of the type of alcohol what you're drinking with it yeah instead of like drinking with terrible mixers and yep. then you're like oh it's late roberto let's what's open let's go eat that and then it's like now you're staying up late also and it's yep. like it's just a continued cycle of unconscious decisions yep. or yeah that's that's that can be a hard topic yeah because like of, uh, of of alcohol um i'm i'm a i'm i'm a no-no i'm a no-no for that even like yeah it's, it's 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 hard to like it's hard to like tiptoe around that sometimes yeah uh, it's just like for me it's like try to cut it out as much as you can yeah you know and for some people it's 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 gonna be hard but i think that that's just where i'm like cut it out as much as you can yeah and eventually you're gonna cut it out so much you, you feel like you're not gonna, you're not gonna want it anymore and every time that you have it you just feel like crap yeah and then it's and then you just don't even don't just like sugar you start create you start create you stop craving the sugar alcohol yeah right so once again north star of why you know it's like why yeah it's like yeah this makes me feel crappy this drinking but yeah like i having fun this and that blah 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 but it's like what's the after effect this makes me feel like crappy i woke up late i had a terrible day t t today you know because of it yeah and it's like is this worth it is this worth this feeling feeling like this you know no but it's like it's it's you you you, you also get like the i'm never drinking again and then they drink again yeah. I'm never drinking again. I'm never drinking again. It's like, okay, come on. Yeah. You know? One's one's enough. Yeah. It can be so for so many things too. It's like one's like one's enough like when is your enough? 
Like actually me? No. Oh, like just, just in general. general. Like oh, when yeah. is your enough? Yeah. Yeah. And it's like it could be their process. You know, it could be their their time of and like their process of learning and finally learning from those experiences. And it might take yeah. some time, and they might have to completely <laughs> fall into oblivion and shatter. You know, but <laughs> if that's what it takes, you know. Yeah. I think it's just so it's 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 also like you know like um cultural pressure yeah. you know um of like fitting in and 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 societal like societal pressures man you yeah. know it's like and it's like it's like that crab thing too you know like when when the net is thrown down and we'll, we'll probably we'll probably end here soon um, the, the nets throw down into the sea and the fishermen are grabbing the crabs, right? And the crab that knows that is being caught, right, is trying to climb out, up and out of the net, right? But the crabs that just have no idea are like, where are you going? We're down here. And they'll start, the crabs will start bringing the crab down because it's like, it's, it's being, it's going out of the pack. Yeah. And it'll start bringing it down. And if it doesn't go down, they'll kill it. Because it's not, it's 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 leaving the, the the pack. So essentially, like there is like so that can be an example for life. Is that when people, especially in your surroundings, they're in, they're in a way, and you're trying to leave and break out of that. They're gonna they're 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 not gonna it's not gonna go well, you know. And at most times, like it's really hard to break out of that, yeah. you know, because they keep bragging you down. It's like oh let's go for a drink, or it's like oh you've changed, or whatever, you know. It's like and it, and and they and it, they're seasons so those friends are a season for you and if you want to have a if you if you're looking for again your if your north star is to you know live a healthier sustainable you know lifestyle you know maybe and if and if your friends don't don't help you to get there then they're dragging you down you know it's i, I there there's polarity i, I think that the, for me, I f- the the clo- the older I get, the the more polarity there is. Like it's black or white. Yeah. Either your friends or your family are helping you get there, or your friends or family are are keeping you from getting there. And it just it is what it is. And it and any gray, that gray there's still that gray is still trying to keep you away from whatever you're you're trying to get. You know. So there there has there is polarity in everything. You know. You're 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 waking up every day to live, or you're waking up for that day for you to throw it away and you're you're one more step into death it has to be like that yeah. really, i i truly th- i truly believe that you know it's like every day you have that decision of like who you're going to hang out with what are you going to do what are you going to put in your body what are you going to listen to what are you going to read what are you going to ingest that's going to re- reflect the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day so you're like putting deposits into the into the following days into the months into the years and whatever and whatever deposits you're doing you might not even feel like if you're doing both deposits, you're not going anywhere. Yeah. That's yeah, my, I think that's that's, that's my bu- that's, that's always been uh, the hard part about just like any really healing process, even if it's in the gym, health, fitness, performance, whatever, spiritual healing. It's letting go of the versions of yourself. Yes. And sometimes that is connected with people from your past yes. and people that you grew up with, and yes. it's like. And it's hard to let go. It's and hard. It's, it's really hard, especially like you grew up in that city. It's like these are the people you grew up with, and it's like people you were hung, you're hanging around with, but it's no longer in alignment with Correct. your life and the thing that the things that you want. Correct. But that's a big shedding. It's yep. like you really got to peel some of those those webs off. Yep. I mean, not to bring it up, but to bring I'm bringing it up because I thought about it, so I'm going to say it. Even it's even biblical, bro. Yeah. Like even even Jesus and even all the prophets were denied by their own town their own town they denied them because it because they grew up with them and they're like well you're just jimmy down the block like who are you yeah and they and 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 it's just crazy it's just crazy you know so it's like that's why it's hard to like to have the same friends that you have and and if and if you still have the friends that you had after your transition man they're they're your ride or dies honestly you know but if they're not they were never meant to be they were there. They helped you for a certain amount. Maybe they helped you to, to even to to leave. So they're but they're always they're. Oh, I think you, we need to look at opportunities as as opportunities to grow. So like the friends that you have now that are not helping you, they're helping you to get out of that as well. Because you need to realize that oh they're they're holding me down, or whatever's holding me down. Even yourself, you can be holding yourself down most of the time. That's it. It's you, you, you yourself are holding yourself back from whatever you need to to achieve. 
essentially. But it's bright, it's shedding. Yeah. Which is hard. It's hard. It's painful sometimes, most of the time. But it, but again, we grow through uncomfortability. You know, some when people walk into this door for the first time and they if they've been inactive for 14 years, that's uncomfortable. You know, so it it does take some uncomfortability to grow in anything. So that's why anytime I'm I'm comfortable, I just I I don't like it. Yeah. I think I'm I I, I start freaking out. I'm like oh, I I got to do something different. Yeah. Yeah. Or else or else I feel like I'm dying. Yeah, and I think that's the thing with a lot of the world today is like these signals and the, th- the things that we're feeling within our body. These are good, like honestly, all good signs. But they're signs from the body. It's like it gives us action mm. like forces us to take action now a lot of times people just want to numb it out and yes. not use that like it's like whether that's taking pills and pharmaceuticals to numb that pain yes. or if it's distract themselves yes. cope with it you know whatever it is but lean into it lean into that discomfort mm. and you will grow like but it's like you got to keep leaning into it there's no way to avoid it yep. you can either numb it and like avoid it and then like stay in the path you're on or if you want to go further you gotta you gotta yeah. lean into it yeah that's so awesome and we started with this too with your with you leaning into you oh own. yeah that's so awesome it it's it just keeps reminding me of the of the buffalo and the cow yeah. the difference between those you know the cow runs away from the storm rather than buffalo runs into the storm and gets over the storm faster and the cow just has to just eat it and just be in the storm longer because it ran away from it you know so it's like got to be that buffalo and just go towards it yeah head on head first into it yeah. embrace it Embrace the problems, embrace the struggles. Like that's just the best, you know. It is. I think it's the best way. It, it's empowering because you have to control of your life rather than being like, oh, I'm just gonna avoid it for a little bit, and it's gonna get you. It's gonna get you. Yeah. It's like avoiding death. You can't avoid death. It's gonna come. Head on. I'm taking head on. Head on, baby. Yeah. Head on. Head on. You got anything else to say to the people? No, it's I think a pretty was, good podcast. Yeah, good. Fifty-six minutes. Good. Yeah. 656 nice amazing I like it. well thank you guys for joining us this is connery follow him what's your uh show him your give him your handles um follow me on my uh my rivano page rivano R- rivano htc At r-e-v-a-n-o that's it rivano htc on instagram um you can catch this episode on spotify if you're not watching it there already itunes and youtube um catch us next week for 43 uh, thank you guys for joining appreciate your support Peace.